Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. So in this video we are going to talk about writing text to files using the write all text function. Uh, all we have to do is provide a path to the file, to the function, and uh, a content which is uh, of string type. And uh, what it will do is open uh, uh, an existing file or create a new file and write the contents provided to it. So I have uh, this file here. So at first what we're going to try to do is just uh, get the text from this file and then write it. Actually let me remove this here. That was for testing. Uh, we're just going to take this uh, this text here from this file and write it to, to a new file that we're going to place in this uh, path right here. Now what we have here is a function that we've written in previous tutorials with uh, a little bit of modification and uh, that modification is the fact that we're returning a string now which will be the content of that file. So let's get to it and uh, just get the content from the file first. So text is going to be read all text in file. And the, path, the file that we're reading is the one that's at path. Alright, so now we have the text. Uh, what uh, we want to do is write that text to the file. Okay, and we want to write it to the write to path. And then which content we want is text. Alright, so let's see what we get. The, the file should appear here. Okay, so write to text, and as you can see, it has the same content as, as the uh, previous file. Now, you could have done this with the copy function that belongs to the same namespace, same class, file.copy. Um, but let's say, for example, you had text that was simply in memory in your program, and you wanted to write that to a file. So let's just create some trivial text here. And let's just say my name is Dooley. Okay, so we have some text here. Now let's, uh, let's write it again and see what happens. Okay, program finish. Let's see what we get. And as you can see, we get the text that we wrote to the file. Now, the issue here is that uh, you can see that you lost all the text that was already in the file, the existing file. We had all this text in there. Uh, we lost it to write the new content. Now, um, if you don't like uh, this or if you if you actually want to append to the file rather than erasing uh, everything to write new text there is this function that's the append we're gonna briefly try it try it here and see what we're gonna get and let me just add a line break here so you can just add an additional line to to the file so let's try that again Okay, let's see what we get. So we get another line of the same thing. And if we keep uh, running this with the append, uh, append all text function, uh, we're just going to keep getting lines of the same text. Or if we give it some new text, uh, uh, we'll, we'll get uh, continuous lines of the new text. So this is, uh, this, is this tutorial. Uh, we talked about writing uh, text to file, uh, we use the write all text function. 
and this function essentially takes a path, it takes some content, and it writes that content to that file. If that file didn't exist before, it will just create it and then write the content. If it existed, it will simply overwrite whatever text was already in that file. If you don't want this effect, you can use the append all text function. So you can simply append additional text to to the file, to the existing file. So this is the new tutorial. If this is helping you, please subscribe. If you have questions, uh, just throw them at me. And uh, if you like the videos, please uh, click the like button. All right, thanks. Next time.